afternoon, good evening, traders from across the globe, and welcome to the 1015th installment of Short Term Trading Live with Oscar Corboni, and that would be me. Traders, Oscar Corboni Live speaking to you. Well, it won't be live by the time you see it, but it's live now. Speaking to you on Monday night for Trading Tuesday. This video is for Trading Tuesday, April 30th, 2015. 2013. Traders, remember, futures trading is extremely risky. It can cause substantial financial loss. And futures trading is not suitable for all trading accounts. A stop is your best friend. And if you do not use stops, you are a nut and you shouldn't be trading futures. All right, traders, what's going on out there? Well, first of all, let me say this. My apologies for those horrible trades Sunday night into Monday. We gave three trades, all three got stopped out, Omni um, sucked on Monday. Nothing I can do about that, traders. This is what happens from time to time. You know that Omni's consistency is really high, but every now and then it's going to get slapped. And Monday was an ugly one. My apologies. Duke's up and on to Tuesday. What's going on for Tuesday? Traders, what's on the board? A reminder, well, first of all, we have a green army on the board. Yeah, 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 we clap for green armies always. That means we expect the market to go up on Tuesday. Remember, traders, is April a death knell to our beloved markets? April is just about over. Last week in April, first week in May, we've done a series of videos about this. We've had a serious breakdown in our markets for the last four or five years in the last week of April, first week of May. So, is the last week of April, first week of May, going to be considered a death knell to U.S. indices? I know we went gangbusters higher on Monday. Keep this in the back of your mind, okay? This stays on the back burner. Keep it in focus. Do not forget, we've only had one up day. It was a Monday. We had an up day. It's not even the last day of the month. And we've got to get through a few days of May before we know we're getting past this April disaster area. So let's see what happens. So just keep that in mind. But we got a green army and that's it. We're day traders, right? We can be bearish one day, bullish the next. Well, we have a green army. We do know we got to be careful about the death now. Starting the day off with the green army on Tuesday. Traders, phase three is beginning to gain traction. Phase three, if I have fans watching right now, and I certainly do, I know that you know what I'm getting at. Phase three, in the stock market, I have told many of my Omniacs, watch for this. Phase three means that the stocks and the dollars now separate. They decouple and stocks and dollars go in opposite directions. Stage two, stocks and dollars go together. Stage three, stocks and dollars start to separate. Stocks continue up while dollars come off a little bit. That is stage three. I did a video, I depicted what that meant, and I want to show you another piece of, or I should say, I want to show you a clip of that video so that you will completely understand what I'm getting at when I say phase three is beginning to gain traction. And in phase three, that's when dollars and stocks start to trade in opposite directions. So, in this video tonight, we're going to look at and just keep in the back of our mind the, the April death knell. It definitely is out there. It's looming above our markets. Can we escape it this year? Boy, I hope we can. With the, with the April death knell in the back of our minds, we have a green omni for Tuesday, and we are starting off gangbusters buying, and that's it. If the market changes complexion and the death knell shows itself, we'll follow it back down. Omni's pointing up. I am not going to argue for a day trade. So, day trade green. Watch out for the death knell. Phase three should get very interesting. And I'm going to show you, during our chart segment, I'm going to show you some charts that will talk about each of these things. And we'll take a quick look at a flashback of a YouTube video that I filmed about 13 days ago. It was about the 17th of April. I filmed a YouTube video, and in that YouTube video I said, phase two comes to an end, phase three begins, and phase three stocks and dollars start going away from one another. And I think you're going to find this chart segment very interesting. Traders, with no further ado, let's go look at some charts. Traders, we're looking at the E-mini S&P, and remember, 
the April death knell still looms overhead for months end. We did not get past the end of April or the first week of May, so we must worry about this. But let's talk about day trading. When you talk about the April death knell and day trading, of course, you got a shoulder ahead, a shoulder, and what we're calling a head test. The market's going back to test the head. If it fails to get above the head, it will break down. But if we just remove, remove, remove the three shoulders or the head, the two shoulders and the head, we have what's called an F flag building, and that is bullish. So for day trading, we have an F flag, the F flag's bullish, and we will be buying for trading on Tuesday. But remember, the April death knell still looms overhead, so we will be very squeamish with our buys, but we will buy. Next, convincing traders, this is interesting. The German DAX, we went out to a monthly chart. Now, this is a monthly chart. Every one of these bars represents a full month's worth of trading. The German DAX on a monthly, you put in a high in around 2,000. You know when you put the high in? Between March and April, right here around March, April, you put a high in. Had a major crash. Rallies back up in 2007. Puts a high in. Had a major crash. The crash that we all know down to 2009. Rallies all the way back up to right where we are now, April, and puts a third high, a triple top in. Now, triple tops, traders, they usually work really well, but one of the things we know about triple tops is it's not what you read in books. Triple tops are actually buys, but here's what you wait for. Top one, top two. After top three, you wait for a pullback. After the pullback, you get a blast off. We like buying triple tops. Not until a pullback comes. Here is a triple top, just something to keep in mind about the April death knell. So that's your German DAX. Then you look at the E mini SP. Again, we're looking at the April death knell now, overall picture. E mini SP, the year 2000, rallies up and puts in a high. Comes all the way back down, rallies up for 2007, puts in another high about the same spot. Comes back down to the crash lows of 2009 comes back up to today. Today we have a third high, all in the same spot. Again, traders triple top, but what we know about triple tops is this. After top one, two, three, after top three, first you get a brief pullback, then a blast off. So we expect some kind of a brief pullback if you're using the one, two, three method, the triple top method, and remembering that there is the April death knell looming over our heads. So just wanted to show you this triple top on the monthly because I found it interesting both in the DAX and in the ES. But let's go back to day trading. For day trading, which is for trading on Tuesday, April 30th, traders, the Russell 2000 held the Otatma three days, one, two, three, four, five days ago, held the Otatma, has taken off into the form of an F flag. We love F flags. We find F flags bullish. So we are bullish for trading on Tuesday using the Russell for day trading. Then you have the NASDAQ, same situation, big old F flag forming. You do have what's considered an inverted head and shoulders building here as well. So nice picture all of a sudden building in your NASDAQ. That's on your daily bar. Then we move to the Dow Jones Industrial Average. Traders, interesting chart. Take a look at this major, major trend line. What's support? Right? The trend line starts, becomes major support. This is the U.S. stock market, the big kahuna. Once again, this red trend line becomes major support. Then we break the red trend line and we go down. But look what happened as of Monday's trading back above the resistance, which is now support again. And it looks like it's going to hold. So we are back into or above the support line right now. So for day trading for Tuesday, you got to love what that looks like. We're certainly buying the dip. Then there's this, traders. Remember we talked about phase three. Now, I want you to take a look at this chart, and I want you to indulge me here. Watch this flashback from a video that we filmed about 13 days ago. It was filmed on April 17, 2013. Indulge me. Watch this flashback. Phase two. It is exactly what I preached. Traders, go back. There's got to be 30 videos with me screaming about phase two and get ready for dollars and stocks to go up together. That was in 2010 and 11 for 2012. We've gone through phase two, and I think phase two is now coming to an end, and we are going into phase three of the economic recovery. 
Again, you Omniacs have been following me for a long time. You know I've got this right, so pay attention. In phase three of the economic recovery, it's starting to develop now. What happens in phase three are dollars and stocks start to trade in opposite directions. In phase three of your economic recovery, it's almost opposite of phase two. In phase two, dollars and stocks go up together. In phase three, you will find that stocks go up and dollars start to go down a little bit. Okay, traders, so you've seen the flashback. Here's the same chart. Now, if you've been paying attention, the stock market and the dollars have been going together for a long, long time, right? Together for a long, long time. Look what has happened since we did that video for you. The stock market has gone in this direction and the dollar has gone in that direction. That is unusual. That is phase three. And how about a round of applause for technical analysis? I mean, come on, on the X. I gave that to you when dollars and stocks ride together just about every day. And I showed you this very same chart. And I said, this is what should begin. And you've had a series of days since that video. Almost every day since has been stocks in one direction, dollars in the opposite. That is technical analysis firing on all eight cylinders. Traders. Phase three, we know what we're talking about here at the Omni Trading Academy. You come on down to livewithoscar.com, come into my free trading rooms, and allow me to help you understand the analysis behind looking at graphs such as this one. All right, traders, let's move forward. Now we're looking at the German DAX, the German DAX on a daily bar. Once again, shoulder, head, shoulder, so you have the head and shoulders. In the right shoulder, you have a smaller head and shoulder, shoulder, head, shoulder. And you're having the head test, right? You had the shoulder, the head, the shoulder, you came down. Now you're going for your head test, and here we are. But we did get above this resistance right here. That's key right there. I'm loving that. So as we go for the head test, you can be bullish on Trading Tuesday, looking at the DAX and then trading the U.S. indices. And then we have this baby. Traders, look at gold, and oh my goodness, another round of applause for technical analysis, because you can't make calls like this without technical analysis. Traders, we know that this happened because we did a series of videos about it. I did live classes, and I have Omniacs that come to my live site every day and watch this happen live. So we know that this call has been made in front of hundreds, and here we go. When gold Hit the mark of 1,780. Omni back here gives us a wiggle. And Omni says, ooh, a little bit of a warning here about a possible top. From that point forward, we put in a head and shoulders, and we break this parallel channel, and we move down to another head and shoulders, and we break down. Then we make another head and shoulders, and we create a parallel channel. We get under the parallel channel, and we break down. Then we create a head and shoulders, and there's a parallel channel. We get under the parallel channel, and we break down. Right around the price of 1680, which is right here, Omni calls official top in gold. Since then, it went all the way down to 1325. Wow, mods the call. But here we are. Let's look at today's analysis. So the third head and shoulders, or fourth one, I should say, gets formed. We break the same pattern. We have the parallel channel and the shoulder and the head. And we form the right shoulder, break the parallel channel, and down you go. Once again, shoulder, head, form the parallel channel, break the parallel channel, channel, form the right shoulder, and go. What it does next is it goes into this bare flag. Comes out of the bare flag and dumps. Well, if you ask me, we've made another monster-sized bare flag right here. And at the top of this bare flag, we just hit this major, major resistance line. Boom! We hit the resistance line at the top of the bear flag in gold. I say gold gets sold for trading on Tuesday, and that's the way we are looking at the gold market. Traders, pull your own charts, do your own homework. Come on down to livewithoscar.com and allow me to help you become a much better analyst. Traders, Oscar Carboni is holding another OmniCamp live in Las Vegas. OmniCamp is an intensive four-day course taught by the Wall Street whiz, Oscar Carboni himself. Oscar has been analyzing markets and trading commodities on and off the New York trading pits for over 30 years. Trading for a living is a very difficult business. Oscar will simplify the process so that you can easily understand and analyze the markets. 
Classes are limited. For more information, call 702-629-4755. Our phones are staffed 24-7. Futures trading is risky and can cause substantial financial loss. Trading futures is not suitable for all accounts. So, traders, you've seen my technical argument for why we have the Green Omni. We're worried about the death knell and... Phase three beginning where stocks and dollars go in opposite directions. Rock and roll on technical analysis as far as that's concerned. Traders, come on down to LiveAlaska.com and click the OmniCamp button. It's a banner at the top right of my site. OmniCamp, you've just seen the commercial. We are holding an OmniCamp the last week of June. It is here in Vegas. It is a four-day live training session. You will be live with me training for four days. Come on down. Make sure you fill out your OmniCamp applications for the last week in June, and I will personally call you back and see if you qualify for an OmniCamp. All right, traders. So in those charts, the April death knell is something we have to keep in mind. You saw those triple tops, right? The monthly bars in the S&P and the DAX. We've seen that the April death knell is showing us head and shoulders after head and shoulders all over our charts. Now we have F flags getting a little bit tricky up there, but we will trade this one day at a time. And phase three, traders, 13 days ago I said to you, you're going to start to see some new action now where dollars and stocks go opposite right to the day it started. To the day. Go analysis, go. That's going to continue. That's called phase three. It doesn't happen every single day that way, but this is the decoupling and this is what is going to happen. Traders, make sure you come on down to livewithoscar.com. Come to my free trading room. Don't trade alone. Allow me to help teach you the art of technical analysis. It doesn't work every day, which is why we use stops and a stop is our best friend in this industry. We always play stops first so that if we get into a trade and the world comes to an end, so to speak, we get knocked out with our stop and we live to trade another day. All right, traders, that's about it. I'll see you at my site. Always try to keep your emotions out of trading. One of the best things you can do to help yourselves with that is say to Steve Sebs every morning, every afternoon, every evening, and you know what that is. Futures trading is risky and can cause substantial financial loss. We do not claim or guarantee that you will profit from the information provided. 